So for the longest time, uh, I wanted to kind of recreate kind of when I was like into FPS gaming and stuff, and that was like Modern Warfare 2. And I just love kind of the sniper gameplay, the 360 no scope, the kill cams, and all the banter around that. So uh, what you see on the screen here is what I wanted to try to do by using the new Claude Opus 4.5 model. So I just started out this weekend, I wanted to just do a big grind and trying to recreate the game here. So you can see it probably on the screen, I have some kill cam replays, we have some cool sniper action. So today I just want to walk you kind of through what I have done, how I'm using Opus 4.5 to actually do the coding for me. And what plans I have for this game. This is going to be more of like a game dev vlog, uh, not vlog, but log. So I'm just going to keep updating and my ultimate goal is to do like a multiplayer version of this. I have a plan for this. But now I've been just playing around with uh, learning how the bot should be optimized to get a cool gameplay. So yeah, today I just want to show you what I've done so far and we're going to implement a feature when you can see how I'm using Claude Code with Opus 4.5 to implement some features. I thought we are going to do some achievements, maybe some golden uh, knives or something. So yeah, let's just get over there and see what we have so far. Okay, so let me just walk you through the game now. So I call this like 360 no scope, right? And I created this animated video in the background and yeah, I have an account I can log into now, right? I have my username, my email, so I can log out and I have some stats here. I'm probably going to go into that uh, later. Uh, we have mouse sensitivity, we have, yeah, I only have one weapon at the moment. But the game is pretty simple, right? We are playing against an um, AI CPU uh, I created. So basically I based this on the Counter-Strike bot system, A-Star I think it's called. So let's, if we start the game now, you can see I also had some ads here, youtube.com slash my channel. And it's gonna be per round. And the bot should be, yeah, it's hiding behind there now. Okay, so it's firing. And I have these smoke trails. And you can see we can scope. You suck. Get better. Okay, so we have this, uh, now it's one nil to the bot. Let me do some, I'm not so good at the game. Okay, so we got the kill cam there, that's pretty cool. So then we get the instant replay, as I remember it from Modern Warfare 2 of the gameplay. My it's a bit laggy and stuff, sure it's not perfect, grass. but it's pretty cool. Uh, we have the knife, so we can switch to knife gameplay if we run out of bullets, because we only have six bullets. So let's try to attack the bot now, and dodge the bullets, and then try to kill it with a knife. It also has a knife, so we could also die. Just go back yeah, to being you can see we got stabbed there. Uh, so let's try to get him with the sniper instead. Okay. Learn to play. Yeah, I got this Just track there. Uh, I have music I created on Suno and everything. So this is basically the game loop. You can play around best of five, right? And you can just start the game wherever you want. So the idea is kind of to get cool uh, kill cams and stuff like that. You can jump and shoot. Uh, I'm not the best at it, so you can see there are some small bugs there, like that. What the fuck? <sighs> are you drunk? I lost there. Are you drunk? So let's try to get him with a knife again. I think that's fun. So I gotta dodge the bullets. It's not always that Noob, easy. Learn to play. Okay, so let's go back to the sniper again. So you kind of get the point. This Your mom is disappointed. Okay, so that is basically the game, right? So now uh, I kind of want to show you how I'm actually adding new features. Just the workflow uh, around using like uh, Claude Code here and of course Cursor for the management of the files. So yeah, so what I thought we can do is uh, I want to do some features. So let's say uh, maybe we want to add some knife sound, knife kill, gun kill tracking because now we only have kills. Uh, and I want to create an achievements page uh, when we get 10 knife kills we unlock a gold knife So that is what I'm going to take you through today how I'm going to do all of these implementations by using Opus 4.5 in Claude Code uh, I will admit as you probably see here uh, I have I guess you can't see it here. I guess if we go all the way to the top now uh, I have let's do a compact and I can show you I have updated to the max 200 now dollar version because it's just so good. I just need to use it uh, I think over this uh, Period at least for a month. I want to try it out see how much I can do with this and yeah Like I said, you can see I am on the max now 200 so 
yeah, pretty expensive, but uh, so far I just think it's been worth it. Never have I ever run into any like issues, and I uh, have used Opus Four Point Time, uh, Opus Four Point Time the whole time. So let me, let me show you how I'm gonna do this now. So let's say we wanted to start with um, the knife kill, gun kill tracking. So what I do is I'm basically now I have some kind of control over my code here, right? Uh, but uh, Opus 4.5 is really good at figuring out what it needs to do. So let's say uh, I wanted to do the, um, the knife and kill tracking now. So basically I just do um, I just do an uh, instruction here and then I'm going to plan mode. I'm going to show you. To be honest, I think we can do it as simple as this. This is how strong Opus 4.5 is. So I can do, we want to separate kills tracking by knife and gun. Please investigate code and create a plan for this new system. Then I'm just going to switch to plan mode. And um, that's about it. So now you can see, uh, at least in many cases, Opus 4.5 will now go into a small exploring agent where it kind of looks at the code. Yeah, you can see it here. It's just going to start up this small agent that kind of, yeah, looks at all the code. And then it's going to come up with a plan how to do this because now we need to update our database and we need to track uh, what kind of type of kill. Um, we get when we use the knife or the sniper, right? This is because if we're gonna do an achievement on knife kills, uh, we need to keep track of uh, what kills are done with the knife and what is done with the gun, okay? So now I'm just gonna uh, let uh, Cloud Code work here with Opus 4.5, and when we have something, I'm gonna show you how I kinda do it when we're gonna implement the plan. Okay, so you can see now uh, kinda the exploring agent is done, so now uh, kinda Cloud Code has on, uh, comprehensive understanding of the code. So now we get some questions. So should the knife uh, be persistent to the database, superbase, or track locally? No, it's gonna be on the database, of course. Uh, where should the knife versus gun kill counts as displayed? Uh, we're only gonna do the stats panel for now. We don't need anything else. And should the bot kills on the player also be tracked uh, by weapon type? Uh, no, we don't need that player kills only. We don't need to track uh, that kind of type. Okay, so then we're just gonna submit those answers. And now we're gonna flesh out the plan and then we can execute the plan. But I wanna show you a trick I used actually before we start executing the plan here. So if we look in the database now, you can see we are only kind of tracking. Yeah, I can show you. We are tracking wins, losses, kills, deaths, uh, and that's it, and the username, okay? So hopefully now, uh, Cloud Code and Opus 4.5 will uh, create a new table that is gonna be knife and gun kills. So we can keep a state on that too, uh, that is connected to the user, right? Okay, so now we can see we have our plan, okay? Perfect, you can see, okay, so we're gonna do some database writing, perfect, and everything. So instead of just accepting now, uh, I kinda uh, have this habit now that I found out was very good. That is just uh, do no planning and I'm just gonna do like a compact before I actually execute the plan. Because sometimes it could be a bit annoying if you get this auto compact in like a big uh, feature change in your app. So I've, I've been just making a habit of doing this. It takes a bit longer but it kind of saves you on some annoying stuff sometimes. So I'm just gonna do compact and then we're gonna switch back to execute mode and let's do execute plan. Okay, so that was done. So now I'm just gonna go back to accept edits and then I'm just gonna say execute plan. And that is basically the workflow I have been using and so far it's been superb. Uh, basically the whole game is kind of described uh, in natural language. I haven't really touched the code. Uh, I've been doing some few adjustments just in parameters uh, myself. But basically other than that, Opus 4 has done the full game so far. And that is pretty impressive. And that's why it's so addicting using, that's why I had to upgrade to the max. Because I want to keep it going all the time, I didn't really want to stop and wait 5 hours, right? So I just had to do the max plan because it was so much fun. So let's just uh, flesh out this plan and then we're going to check on the database and give it a shot to see if we actually track our uh, gun and knife kills now.
Okay, so the agent has worked through this. So uh, the first thing we want to do is go to our database and do a refresh here to see if we get some new table entries. Uh, let's see now. Uh, we have wins, losses, kills. Uh, okay, so we have gun kills and knife kills. Perfect. Yeah, that is exactly what we wanted to see. That's a great start. So now we just need to test it out. And for that, I always run this in local before, of course, I push to... GitHub and the deployed version. So let's just refresh this and uh, let's try it out now. So if we go to my account, uh, yeah, you can see I have uh, gun kills and knife kills, zero, zero. I reset this. So let's just try it out now. Let's try to first do a gun kill. Uh, let's see if I can do that. Oh, again, I got access to Okay, so I got it. Okay, so now next we need a knife kill. But first let's check if this counted. That was a perfect headshot. Well, look at you. So let's do a count. Okay, so we got a gun kill. Perfect. Let's switch to the knife now. And let's go for it. So then I need to bounce around a lot. Switch up the ramp. Okay, that was a bit lucky. Uh, okay, so... You can see there's a visual bug with the bot here. I, I kind of need to fix that, but look at that. Boom. Nice shot, but make sure to touch Perfect. Grass. So let's go to the account now. And yeah, we got a knife kill. So that is up. Perfect. So now we actually can move on to my next implementation. That's going to be the achievement page where we're going to count the knife kills to 10. And then you unlock a gold gun or something like that. So basically the gist is that uh, we're gonna create a new uh, button in the menu that has these achievements and here we're gonna have a list of achievements and I'm describing here uh, the achievements to get 10 knife kills. And this is marked as complete, right? You can read all this if you want to have some tracking. I also want a pop-up if the achievement is completed in-game. That's just gonna be a one-time and investigate and create a plan for this. So again, I'm gonna go back to plan mode and let's just start work on this plan here. So uh, I'm just gonna take you back when um, we have the plan and I'm gonna execute the, um, the agent here. Okay, so that was the first part of the achievements uh, system done. So let's just check it out before we move on to re the reward part. And uh, yeah, uh, I, we're just gonna open this in local, okay. And um, you can see it, we have the achievements, perfect. And uh, knife master uh, get 10 kills with the knife, one out of 10. So let's see if that is correct. If we go to our account, yeah, we have one knife kill, perfect. So now we're just gonna remove, uh, not remove, move on to the, um, the reward part, okay. So if we go here, I have another prompt. So I'm not gonna, again, I'm not gonna read out this. Let me just compact this and I'm gonna kind of tell you uh, quickly what I want the prompt to be. Uh, so basically this prompt is just gonna be adding a reward if the player completes the achievement. It's gonna unlock a gold knife. Remember now we only have kind of the standard metal default knife. But uh, if the player has completed this achievement of 10 knife kills, uh, now it's going to unlock the gold knife. Okay, so we can select that. So let's see if we can also one-shot this. And I'm just going to paste in the prompt. I'm going to do exactly the same. Create a plan, compact, execute the agent, and then I'm going to come back. And then we're going to try it out. So we're gonna, I'm going to try to play to get up to the 10 knife kills and see what happens. Okay, so that should be it. We are now pushing to GitHub to actually test this out in production or the deployed version of the game. So I'm just gonna wait for this to uh, deploy now and then we're gonna try it out and see if our achievement work, if we actually unlock the gold knife and we can actually play with it. So yeah, that was it. So let's try to refresh the deployed version of the game now. I'm just gonna exit the local one and yeah, let me check. Yeah, that is deployed. Let's refresh. Okay, so we log in autonomously. Yeah, we have the achievements. And if you look, uh, we have now six knife kills. I did some testing. So now I'm going to try to get the last four. And then we're going to see if we unlock the, the achievements and get the gold knife. Okay, so uh, yeah, I guess you have to just watch me play. 
and I'm gonna put on the sound so you can just watch me play and then we're gonna see if I actually can unlock the knife here. Okay, so now I just think we need one more. So if I get this now, uh, let's see if we get the achievements popping up here. Yeah, we did it. That was the achievement unlocked. So now we're gonna see if we can... Nice shot, but if we can sure actually unlock grass. this, so I'm just gonna stop this game. Let's refresh this. And uh, let's go to achievements. Yeah, that was done. So you can see we have the gold knife, so I'm gonna click equipped. Okay, and uh, let's try a new game now. Okay, and let's see if we have it. Oh yes, here's the gold gun. <laughs> Not again, knife. Uh, uh, okay, so it's working. Let's see if it works on the kill cams. Yeah, it's working on the kill cams too. Perfect, okay. Whew. That was pretty cool. So yeah, that is basically it. This is how far I've come so far. And I also, I have created a YouTube page. I'm gonna create it in shorts to kind of advertise the game. So if you wanna try out this game now, uh, you, can, you don't have to sign up. You can also play as a guest. Uh, it's 360ns.fun, that's the URL. So go test it out and leave a comment if you find any bugs or stuff uh, like that. And I'm gonna keep working on it and hopefully on the next uh, game them uh, gave their blog, uh, I'm gonna do a multiplayer. Hopefully we have that going. And I'm just gonna keep building on this game using Opus 4.5 because it's just a fun way to do this. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this uh, game day vlog update, kind of my first one. And hopefully this could get something cool at the end. And I'm gonna make like a bunch of achievements. I'm gonna make a global leaderboard and stuff like that. And basically working on my first game. So this would have never been possible with Opus 4.5, Claude Code and stuff like that. So I've been having so much fun this weekend. So definitely go check it out, try it out, build your own game. And maybe we can share it, find some place, and yeah. But go test out the game if you want to. Uh, you should not, no mobile, it's not gonna work. It has to be on like a computer. But yeah, thank you for tuning in to the first game blog, and I'll see you again hopefully in the next one.